Hey, hi, hello, welcome or welcome back. I'm Heather or Miss Polstoy if you're one of my students. I thought it might be fun today to do my top 10 Halloween recommendation books for middle grade. I have to tell you right off the bat, I don't care for scary. I don't like scary. I don't read a whole heck of a lot of scary. So when I say Halloween recommendations, these are not your nail biters. But there are a few on my list that scared me. And so we're going to get it right out of the front here. I'm a wimp. I'm super wimpy. And so I thought I would share these 10 recommendations. Some of them are series. So really you're getting a lot of book recommendations, but 10 books or series that I recommend for the spooky season. And I'm going to rate them because I'm me one to five ghosts for how scary they are. If I give a book one ghost, it's not scary. There's nothing in there. It's just maybe vibing with like October season and spooky season. If I give it two ghosts, it probably made me a little bit nervous. Maybe there were some moments in there that I was biting my nails a little bit. Still not scary, not gonna like send anybody into nightmare zone, but you know, there was a few things. If I give a book three ghosts, we were starting to get some goosebumps. My pulse might have been racing a little bit more. It, it had some elements there. We're, we're getting up there. Again, I'm a wimp. Four ghosts <laughs> means we're at the creepy level. This is actually getting into like kind of scary zone, right? And then five ghosts is going to definitely be a scary book my kind of scary. I'm hiding under the covers kind of scary. Like you will never see me read that book again. <laughs> so that's my rating scale. And let's see what 10 books I'm going to recommend to you for Halloween. So the series that I'm going to recommend right off the bat is one that I've talked about before. It took me a little while to get through. There are four books in the Small Spaces series. It's by Katherine Arden. And the first one is called Small Spaces. These are creepy. This is a four ghost <laughs> level series. Well done and kind of fun in that each book kind of follows this very creepy smiling guy villain and these kids that are kind of going through all this thing in a whole year and each book is a different season. It actually starts in the fall, so it's perfect for this time of year. So that's called Small Spaces. Um, the second series that I'm gonna recommend is actually one of my all-time favorite authors. I absolutely love her. This is the Witchling series by Clarabelle Ortega. Oh my goodness, so delightful. I have to tell you, I have not read the third book. It came out this month and that is House of Elephants. If you are a fan of Witchlings, I have not yet read it and I'm so excited. So there are three books in the series and then I think there's a little novella and I haven't read it yet. I'm gonna give this one two ghosts. There are moments where it's a little bit scary, but not scary. It's a little bit nerve wracking. There's some excitement in there. There's some suspense in there. You're following some witchlings that when they turn a certain age, they were all divided into houses and these ones didn't get in. And so they're kind of a group that are kind of look down upon in society. They're like the unselected ones and they are proving themselves to be pretty amazing. Fantastic series. I cannot recommend it enough. So fun. Third recommendation is going to be actually a graphic novel. Perfect for this time and season. This is only one ghost and this is called The OK Witch. There are two books in this graphic novel series. It centers on this young lady and I have spaced her name. So I'm going to put it right here. And she is kind of just 
coming into understanding some powers that she has. She lives in Salem, Massachusetts, so there's some connections and it was actually a very fun book. It, it kind of hits some historical things. It's just cute. Number four for me is gonna be The Witch Boy. So same kind of thing. The vibes are there for October. Again, this is a graphic novel. I have only read one of this series. There are three books that I know of in this series. They are on my TBR. Um, really good fall, witchy vibes. This follows a kiddo and he, if I'm remembering right, because it's been a little while, he is trying to kind of find acceptance in his family and there's some pushback there. Cute. Might try and prioritize that one and read that one this month too. There you go. I recommended a book for myself. I gave that a one ghost. So my fifth recommendation is going to be Frozen Charlotte. This is by Alex Bell. This one is scary. This one's scary. I gave this one five ghosts. I only read it one time. I do recommend it to my students and I have a couple copies of this on my shelf. They are always checked out. It kind of follows Sophie. She ends up needing to go and stay with her cousins. And I'm just gonna say there's a Ouija board and there are dolls, creepy little dolls and coldness. And oh my goodness, this one was scary. So five ghosts. <laughs> highly recommend. My students all love it. I'm not reading that one again. <laughs> Number six is going to be Ophie's Ghost. This one is by Justina Ireland. This is her first middle grade. She wrote Dread Nation, which I think is YA. I loved this book. We sent her Ophie and she and her mom in 1922 leave the South, I think Mississippi, and they head up to Pittsburgh. In this very horrible situation that happens, Ophie realizes she can talk to ghosts. And boy, oh boy, does she get her little self all wrapped up in quite the ghost story. So yeah, I, this is a delightful book. I gave this one five stars. I am giving it four ghosts. There were some creepy things in there. There were some scary things in there, but I absolutely love the book. Number seven on my list is going to be a super underrated, please read this book, Omega Morales and the Legend of La Lechuza. I'm sure I said that wrong. Sorry. It's by Lakin Z. Kemp. Such an underrated book. I love this story. We follow a family who have always had kind of a supernatural element to them. And they live in a town that used to accept that and embrace that. And there's just been um, kind of a growing suspicion and a lot more pushback on her family. Omega doesn't quite fit the way everybody else fits in her family. Kind of has some Encanto vibes, but it's such a delight. There are two books in this series. I have not yet read the second one. I very much want to. This one was Two Ghosts for me. Really delightful series, really, or book. I, I, I'm sure the series is great. Really delightful book. Highly recommend. Number eight. <laughs> is going to be more of the like October witchy magical vibes. It's not necessarily a scary book. And that is actually the Nevermore series. The first one is The Trials of Morgan Crow. This is by Jessica Townsend. There's a whole series. I think there are there are three books currently out and I just saw that number four will be released in 2025. So that's happy. If you haven't read this, this is such a great series. Morgan Crow is a cursed child. She's born on this like horrible day, which basically means that she is supposed to die on her 11th birthday, something to that effect. Someone intervenes and she ends up in the most unexpected place discovering and experiencing the most incredible things that she'd ever experienced. It is just 
adventure after adventure with delightful characters, kind of um, a creepy antagonist and just fun. This, this whole series is absolutely amazing. Amazing. Yeah, five stars. They're chunky, but don't be afraid of that. <laughs> it's spooky season. Don't be afraid. Give it a go. I gave that a, a one ghost. It's not scary. There's adventure and there's some nail biting elements to it, but there's no real scary elements. My next one. Who? So this one was scary. This is a five ghoster for me. It's called Nightfall. It has two authors by Jake Halpern and Peter Kujawinski. Peter, I'm sorry. I don't think I said that right. Um, Nightfall is five ghosts. This thing was a creepy, scary, I will never read it again. Basically, you have a world where the villagers live on like this island. And instead of, you know, the way our clock works where the sun rises, um, that's a 24 hour day kind of thing. This one, sunset and sunrise are actually 28 years. So as we're getting to basically sunset, the villagers have to leave the island because something bad happens in the dark. And so they are all going to the south. They're, they'll come back in 28 years to live here again during the light. It's mysterious and things don't quite go the way they're supposed to. And yeah, scary. And then my last one is going to be, uh, again, a five ghoster. And this was Spirit Hunters by Ellen O. Oh my goodness, this one is scary. There is a series with this one. There are three books in it. I will not be finishing this series. I'm a wimp. This has a haunted house. The family that moves in is immediately noticing some not so great things. And they have a daughter who is definitely picking up on the haunted house vibes and something weird is happening to her younger brother. And oh my goodness. Yeah, I loved the Korean connection to some cultural mythology that goes with this. That part, absolutely loved. The scariness? No. <laughs> so that is my 10 Halloween spooky vibe recommendations for middle grade for this October. I hope you find something that would be enjoyable that maybe gets your ghost on. So enjoy. Happy Halloween. And um, yeah, enjoy those scary books. No. <laughs> Happy reading, guys. Bye.